Hi everyone, welcome back. So today's wig install, I wanted to show you how to properly install your lace wig and also just cut that ear tab area so that your wig can lay flat on the sides. So this wig today, I have to admit, is absolutely gorgeous. It is the most perfect everyday wig if you are looking for something for work or just to feel comfortable in. So keep on watching. I want to give you guys all the details from start to finish in today's video. So if you want to see that, make sure you keep on watching subscribe if you're new and give this video a big like hi guys welcome back i hope you guys are having a positive week so today's wig will be linked below in the description box make sure you check below this video i will also put some discounts and everything i use in today's video will be also linked there today's install will be very simple i want to show you how to cut off those ear tab areas because a lot of you are still struggling with this today's wig i will be demonstrating this on is a 13 by 6 lace cap as you can see it has lace at the front west in the back and it does come with the combs and adjustable straps so in the back you want to make sure first to cut off that extra lace before you do anything with your wig so i never showed this part so i thought i'll show it <laughs> So I'm gonna jump right into this ear cutting tab part because I don't want you all to feel like you're waiting forever. So this area you see right here is where your ear would normally fall with the wig and a lot of times this kind of falls onto the ear and then a lot of people would be like what do I do with this area is not laying flat so what you're going to do is take your scissors and the little lace that is there at that side you're going to cut that straight up there's like a thin piece of lace there that has no hair attached to it you just cut it straight up in a line just like so now the tricky part for this is sometimes your ear tab area will fall over one ear perfectly but it won't on the other so depending on how big your head is or how small your head is that will determine if you need to do both sides but i would start off just doing one and then trying the wig on to see if both sides fall over that ear perfectly before you cut both because my head is a small i already know that this area will need to be cut so what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut the other side the same exact way. And as you all can see right here, there's a thin piece of lace with no hair. I am going to repeat that same process on this side of the wig. So today with the reverse ball cap method, I did not do any sprays on it. I just tied it like I told you all in my previous video how to do that if you haven't seen that video for my reverse fake scalp method make sure to go check it out so let's check out the ear tab areas and see how they are looking now that we have lined it up and as you can see it goes over that ear well now this is important because you don't want your wig to lift in this area because it will take up your whole wig application it has done that to me so many times Now I'm going to go ahead and cover the knots on the wig using the even tinted lace and I'm using the beige, the warm beige and also the light warm brown to cover the knots. I mix these two to get my perfect shade. Now, I bet you thought that was it when it came to the ear tab area. Not really. Sometimes when you put it on, one side can still be a little bit lower. So what I do is take my scissors and put a slit right between the lace and the cap. And this helps it to fall over the ear. So now when I go to apply my wig, it is fitted perfectly around that ear area. Sometimes you may have to do it to both ear tab areas, but today I only need to do it to one. So you want to make sure you are putting that wig on to see what the fit is like before you just start cutting. You know, what's crazy is I've almost went through this whole bottle of even spray like when I tell you guys I use this because it's the most convenient spray to get you out the door when you don't want to go through a glue application it's so simple and I highly recommend it I will put all these products and this wig down below but as you can see the lace melts so well and also the hairline on this wig is amazing so this wig to me 
is that I can go to work and wear a wig that looks presentable. It's business. It's sophisticated. Now I'm just going to tie down the hairline with the slay band because I want my install to be as flat as possible. So what do you guys like to do in your free time? Because while I'm waiting, I'm just burning some sage, sipping some tea, and that calms me and keeps me happy. So tell me in the comment section, what do you guys do to stay positive? After about 20 minutes, I am now going to remove this extra lace that is around the forehead area. I'm just kind of pulling the hairs back so that any hair that is stuck into that wig application will move out the way so I can <laughs> properly cut this. Now I always take the slits and put them in a lace before I glue down my application so that I will get the least amount of pulling on the hairline when I go to cut the lace. But you can remove this extra lace before you apply your wig. You do not have to leave it on. Now to clean up the hairline from any white residue and just make sure the little edges of the lace is laid, I'm taking some hair mousse and kind of smoothing down my edges. I am going to change the parting on this wig because I feel like for me it looks better with a side part so you can switch out your parting um, to a side part or you can keep the middle part left, right, whatever you want to do. And I'm also applying a little bit of that hair mousse right here at the forehead area. Sometimes that area comes up after I install my wig. So I always have to go back with these new hairline wigs. I noticed that it is shaped out for, I don't want to say a widow's peak, but that's the example I can give you of how that area is. So when I apply my glue, I always end up putting it too far back in that area. The reverse fake scalp is great because it lays my hair so flat at that top part. Um, so if you have not seen my method, make sure to go check out that video. Um, as you can see, it gives that really great scalp parting in the wig. And also I do notice that when using wig adhesive glue, like the actual glue, when I removed my last wig that I had on, all the glue was on the fake scalp material. So there was no cleanup around my hairline. Everything is looking fabulous. This wig is so gorgeous. I'm just going to take my hot comb and kind of open up that parting. I didn't want to flatten it down too much with this style. I like the volume right there at the front. So I'm just focusing on that parting so that it can be seen. So this, you guys, is basically it. This wig was the most simplest style to install. Again, it comes from Pretty Lux Hair. You can get a discount code by looking in the description box of this video. I will put it there along with all the products I used in today's video. I absolutely love this wig. And I will see you guys back in my next video. You can follow me on Instagram if you would like to keep up with me. And thank you guys so much for watching. Mwah.